Let's see the recent maritime accidents. The Dutch general cargo ship Lecco had difficulties when transiting the Bosphorus. While navigating the Bosphorus in a northerly route, the Lecco had an engine failure. After the issue was resolved, Lecco resumed service about 3.30 UTC on January 9th. She has completed passage from Ceuta to Zonguldak, Turkey, in the Black Sea. Shanghai accident triggered by mass pilot quarantines. In the Yangtze estuary between Chongming Island and Taikong, Shanghai region, an anchor chain became entangled with another ship. A neighboring moored ship's captain reported to MB an accident caused by the pilot's quarantine policy. After two of their colleagues tested positive for norovirus, 200 pilots were quarantined. The general cargo ship New Hummer is caught on a dam, has been ruptured, and is sinking in Jakarta. 19 crew members are still on board, attempting to save the ship. The salvage operation continued into the evening of January, with more resources offered by authorities. On January 9, the ship's list reached a 45-degree angle. The disabled Dutch ship star Curaçao is being towed to Brest. In the Bay of Biscay, the tanker star Curaçao, which had 2,987 tons of palm oil on board, lost propulsion. The tanker was towed to Brest and berthed there on January 9, 2010, 9 o'clock UTC. According to the track, the tanker had mechanical problems before being disabled. A cargo ship lost several dozen containers in the Atlantic on January 11. Madrid Bridge and way from Singapore to New York via Suez, lost at least 30 containers in the North Atlantic, as seen on the track screen. The ETA has been revised from 17 to 20 January, indicating that she is either avoiding a storm or needing to keep a close eye on the deck container stack's trajectory and speed. A cruise ship MS Fridtjof Nansen carrying 233 people was grounded in Norway. MS Fridtjof Nansen allegedly went aground early on January 12 off the coast of Norway's Risoya Islet, south of Molloy. Refloated on her own, albeit with a hull breach and manageable water infiltration, according to reports. Divers will inspect the underwater hull and make any required repairs. Italy's disabled ferry Beniamino Carnival is stranded in the stormy Tyrrhenian Sea. At about 23.45 UTC on January 11, a fire broke out on board the damaged ferry Beniamino Carnival in the Tyrrhenian Sea, some 40 nautical miles west of Napoli, Italy. Fire was discovered in the engine room, rendering the ferry inoperable. As of 1440 UTC on January 12, the ship was still floating west of Ponzo Island, or perhaps traveling at a snail's pace. Contact between the Viking Ferry and the Helsinki port While departing Helsinki in the evening of January 12 on a scheduled route to Stockholm, the Viking Ferry Gabriella made contact with the dock. Both the pier and the ship's bow and stern were damaged, although the amount of the damage is unknown. After an examination, Viking Line said the ship will resume operation on January 13. The reason of the accident is claimed to be a blackout. The Guayaquil Express, a mega cargo ship, has been delayed due to a positive antigen test. After arriving from Callao, Peru, the Guayaquil Express was redirected from San Antonio, Chile, to Valparaiso, Chile. One crew had a positive antigen test, while the other 24 sailors had negative readings. The ship is quarantined, which means she will be delayed for an undetermined amount of time. Grounding of the Imskip Reefer, Norway Paul Foss ran aground in Christian Sundsees, Norway, near the Scorpa shore, during a blackout. With the help of the rescue boat Eric Byand, most likely, a tug, the ship refloated about 020 UTC on January 14 and berthed in Christianand. There have been no leaks recorded. The Iranian cargo Nafa 2 came aground at the 159-kilometer point, making it the top Caspian grounding location. Nafa 2 ran aground in the Volga-Caspian Sea Channel at the 159-kilometer mark. The highest grounding point in the Caspian Sea is the 150-160-kilometer mark leg. According to reports, traffic remained unaffected. The mishap will be handled as normal, with the ship being refloated without damage. A quarantine pandemic has attacked the cargo ship MSC Lauren, with Chile taking the lead. The MSC Lauren is the most recent in a sequence of four ships that have been decommissioned by Chilean health regulators. MSC Branca and Mount Arica are also in quarantine, while MSC Samira 3's lateral flow tests have come back positive. 
Two members of the team were suffering from severe symptoms of whatever it was that they were suffering from. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions or comments, drop it in comments section. Subscribe to Marin Aura for more updates.